What is pectus excavatum? When is surgery necessary? And what is a nurse procedure? In this video, you will find the answer to these questions. You or your child may have pectus excavatum. Our team at Nicholas Children's Hospital is here to answer your questions and guide you through the treatment process. In this video series called When You Have Pectus Excavatum, we will answer most common questions and provide you with information on how to prepare for a NAS procedure. Pectus excavatum is an inherited condition in which a person's breastbone is sunken into the chest. Often, it is a slight indentation in the chest that is noticeable shortly after birth. This is a progressive condition, meaning that it typically worsens during the adolescent growth spurt and it may continue to worsen during adulthood. This condition is more common in boys than in girls with a 4 to 1 male predominance, affecting more Caucasians. Pectus excavatum occurs when there is excessive growth of the connective tissue, cartilage, that joins the ribs to the breastbone. The exact cause of pectus excavatum is not known, but it has a genetic component. As 40% of those affected have a family member with the same condition. Pectus excavatum is the most common malformation of the chest wall and occurs in approximately one of every 400 to 1,000 births. Pectus excavatum can make children feel self-conscious about their appearance, even for mild cases. This disorder can restrict the growth of the vital chest organs. Symptoms of this disorder may include chest pain, heart palpitations, respiratory symptoms, and exercise intolerance. At Nicholas Children's Chest Wall Deformity Center, patients are evaluated counseled and treated by our multidisciplinary clinician team. Some children with pectus excavatum report that they have chest pain and shortness of breath or limited stamina with exercise. Other children have no symptoms. Options are reviewed and a course of treatment is selected with input from the family based on the severity and asymmetry of the defect. Our pediatric surgical team has applied an innovative surgical treatment to correct this condition with numerous benefits to young patients. Using the minimally invasive NUS procedure, children usually can return to their normal activities in about a month. The NUS procedure involves a concave stainless steel bar that is slipped under the sternum with the assistance of a scope, a small camera, using two small incisions on each side of the chest. The bar is then flipped and the sternum moves to the proper position. The procedure is done under general anesthesia and takes about two hours. The in-hospital recovery time is relatively short. Pain is common after the NUS procedure. Therefore, the patient will remain in the hospital for one to three days for effective pain management. Based on surgeon preference, cryoablation may be used during your child's operation. This technique uses a special freezing method to temporarily block pain signals from nerves in the affected area. This achieves an effect similar to a local anesthetic. It has been showed that cryoablation helps minimize pain following repair of pectus excavatum. Additionally, the implementation of cryoablation has shortened hospital stay and reduced the need for opioid analgesia. The surgical preparation and operation are the same with or without cryoablation. The next video of this series will provide you with information on what to expect the day of the surgery. Here at Nicholas Children's Hospital, we want to create a healthy future for our children.